of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. It is better by noble boldness to run the risk of being subject to half of the evils we anticipate than to remain in cowardly listlessness for fear of what might happen. If a man insisted on always being serious, and never allowed himself a bit of fun and relaxation, he would go mad or become unstable without knowing it. Men trust their ears less than their eyes. After all, no one is stupid enough to prefer war to peace, in peace sons bury their fathers and in war fathers bury their sons. The most hateful grief of all human griefs is this, to have knowledge of the truth but no power over the event. The saddest aspect of life is that there is no one on earth whose happiness is such that he won't sometimes wish he were dead rather than alive. The worst pain a man can suffer, to have insight into much and power over nothing. Happiness is not fame or riches or heroic virtues, but the state that will inspire posterity to think in reflecting upon our life, that it was the life they would wish to live. In peace, children inter their parents, war violates the order of nature and causes parents to inter their children. Force has no place where there is need of skill. Great deeds are usually wrought at great risks. Circumstances rule men, men do not rule circumstances. No one is so senseless as to choose of his own will war rather than peace, since in peace the sons bury their fathers, but in war the fathers bury their sons. It is better by noble boldness to run the risk of being subject to half the evils we anticipate than to remain in cowardly listlessness for fear of what might happen. Of all men's miseries the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. God does not suffer presumption in anyone but himself. Great things are won by great dangers. Death is a delightful hiding place for weary men. There is nothing more foolish, nothing more given to outrage than a useless mob. The most hateful human misfortune is for a wise man to have no influence. I am bound to tell what I am told but not in every case to believe it. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. Of all possessions a friend is the most precious. I shall therefore discourse equally of both, convinced that human happiness could never continue long in one stay. How much better a thing it is to be envied than to be pitied. Many exceedingly rich men are unhappy, but many middling circumstances are fortunate. In soft regions are born soft men. Illness strikes men when they are exposed to change. As the old saw says well, every end does not appear together with its beginning. The man who has planned badly, if fortune is on his side, may have had a stroke of luck, but his plan was a bad one nonetheless. Whatever comes from God is impossible for a man to turn back. Men's fortunes are on a wheel, which in its turning suffers not the same man to prosper forever. A man calumniated is doubly injured, first by him who utters the calumny, and then by him who believes it. 
Civil strife is as much a greater evil than a concerted war effort as war itself is worse than peace. It is clear that not in one thing alone, but in many ways equality and freedom of speech are a good thing. The ears of men are lesser agents of belief than their eyes. The destiny of man is in his own soul. All men's gains are the fruit of venturing. Force has no place where there is need of skill. When a woman removes her garment, she also removes the respect that is hers. He is the best man who, when making his plans, fears and reflects on everything that can happen to him, but in the moment of action is bold. To think well and to consent to obey someone giving good advice are the same thing. Knowledge may give weight, but accomplishments give luster, and many more people see than way. Very few things happen at the right time, and the rest do not happen at all. The conscientious historian will correct these defects. Great deeds are usually wrought at great risks. The only good is knowledge, and the only evil is ignorance.